G'day guys, welcome back. I'm doing another bright painting for you today. Do you remember this guy here? I did a little while ago. Everyone seemed to love that. That was actually, I think, one of my very first pours with my new uh, glue and water mix. So yeah, really happy with that one. And I haven't done another bright one since then. And I'm gonna try again. This one has a little bit too much purple in it for me. I'm going to see if I can maybe do one with more black. So that's the idea. And I'm only going to do a little one today, just this card, just to try out my colours. I'm going to do two big flip cups. And my pouring medium is my usual, 60% glue, 30% water, 10% flow troll. I really like this mix. Um, when I first started pouring, I just used flow troll. Um, I really didn't know any better. Um, and as I progressed, I changed, added things. And I really like the cells that I get from the, the glue. Um, the Floetrol has got a natural conditioner in it, so it kind of makes the cells a bit, um, hay, well, not hazy, but a bit overstretched. And also you get these little, little white dots popping up, like little spots because of the oil in the Floetrol. So I've cut right back down on it. I've only got 10% in my pouring medium. And that's just to help the paint um, dry a little bit quicker, uh, slower, sorry, and not get the pit holes from the glue. So, uh, treadmill silicone for cells. I'm going to put five drops in each colour. And I'm going to do the black as well. As you can see, I've got three blacks. <laughs> what is wrong with me tonight? Two blacks. Should be sitting on the couch watching TV. Oh, there was a few more. Um, I felt like pouring, so here I am. Stir it in nicely. You don't want to get any big globs of oil that are going to stretch out and cause big blobby cells or caterpillars. So make sure that you give it a really good stir in. It's not going to change the cell size. Your paint consistency will determine your cell size, so it's not anything to do with how well you mix your silicone in. Okay. Right, let's do it. Now these, these cups are quite big, look at that. So, <laughs> I'm spilling. Let's put some black in that one too. I have sprayed my cups, these two big ones, with some silicone spray. So, as I said, the cups are quite deep, so I don't know whether or not I can drizzle. We'll have to see if I can drizzle. Oh yeah, it's okay. I thought maybe it wouldn't. I thought maybe because of the height that the paint's dropping down, it may just fall straight in, but it seems to be okay. Alright, now I think I'll only have enough paint to do two layers. Purple is sinking a little bit, so it's probably a little bit thinner than the others. I did add a good extra dollop, dollop of the purple because it just naturally is a thinner paint. So I've got the two sort of warm colours on this side and then the two cooler colours on the other side and they're separated with the black and I'm hoping that my paint is thick enough that the black and this green aren't going to go too muddy and yucky looking that's the plan anyway if your paints are too thin your, your colours will blend and you'll end up with more mud, so you just have to be aware of that. Um, actually, no, I don't want to put that on there yet. I want to thin that little bit of black before I pop it on the corners. I've had trouble where my corner paint was too thick and when I've tried to tip the paint had to go up over a little ridge there on the corner so I must remember to always thin out my 
extra paint that I use for my as my flow enhancer I like to call it <laughs> help my paint get to where it's going over the corners I don't know if that's what you would call it but that's what I call it it's a flow enhancer oh I have a story and there's many to tell you the other day um, it's, oh, what is it? It's a few days after Chris, uh, after New Year, sorry. It's a few days after New Year. Last year, not even last year, not this Christmas just gone, but the Christmas before, um, my husband and I each got a movie voucher from my parents. And it's one of these things that we think, oh, yes, we must get to the movies. We must um, finally go and use those two vouchers. It was $75 each, so $150 worth of movies, so quite a lot, and we don't tend to go to the movies. We watch Netflix and, you know, as everyone does, so I don't tend to go to the movies a lot. Anyway, so um, I thought about these tickets throughout the year and thought, yeah, I must get to that. Anyway, the um, I finally remembered them on the 27th of December so after Christmas and I got them out and I thought oh it's holiday time I can go to the movies I was all excited about it and I got them out and it said expires on the 16th of December so I thought oh no I've missed out it's $150 worth I was so upset missed out so this was a Thursday I think so I thought, oh, I'm just going to jump online and see if I can book a movie. Maybe the computer won't know that it's out of date. Maybe I can just sort of sneak in a booking and no one will know. So anyway, got online, got onto the website, put in um, Aquamind. Thought that would be a good movie. My husband would enjoy that as well. We're going to see Aquaman together. Nice little date. So anyway, put it in, selected the seats, selected what we wanted from the candy bar, popcorn and Coke combo, clicked OK, and it went through. And I thought, oh, wow, I wonder if that's right. You know, I'm going to get to the cinema and they're going to say, oh no, these, this is expired. And I thought, well, it can't because I've just gone in and purchased my ticket. It can't, I can't say no, you can't have it. I, you know, I've already bought it online. So anyway, um, so that was going to be for 7.30 on the Thursday night. And then I thought, I've still got a lot of money left on these two vouchers. Um, I should try and see if I can do that again and use up the rest of them before, you know, somebody in movie land works out that um, they've expired and, and won't let me use them anymore. So then I jumped online, again, did the same thing for Saturday for my daughter and myself to see Bumblebee. It wasn't a lot of variety really, but I thought, oh, I'm just going to have to see something to use up this voucher. So anyway, Bumblebee, booked it. It worked, yay. Selected our seats, got the combo again, the popcorn and the coke. I was so excited, I thought, yes, two movies in one week and I still had more money on the other voucher. So then I thought, well, what else can we go and see? My daughter Christy was going back to uh, where she lives, a couple of hours away, and I thought, well, what else can we see next, next year, it will be next week, um, and Mary Poppins, number two, was out. First day out on the Tuesday, New Year's Day. And I thought, oh, it's going to be really busy. It's going to be people everywhere at the cinema. And I thought, well, I'm just going to book it and um, use it up. So, used it up. Had a lovely day with my daughter on the Saturday when we went to Bumblebee. We went out for lunch. And the movie and then on the Tuesday we went to see Mary Poppins had lunch had some yum chow it was lovely so I'm so excited that I got to use my vouchers Yay! but yeah three movies in a week 
is a bit much. I think I'll be set for another year now. So try and remember to use your vouchers if you've got them. <laughs> oh, I will remember in future. Right, colours. Turquoise. Uh, we have a lime green that I've made myself. Daintree. And a pretty pink that I've made myself. It's just magenta and white, that one. Black. And purple. All right. Let's see what this is going to do. I've got paint on my clothes. Um, now, I just want to just flip them straight over. Let's release that suction a little bit. Okay, are we ready? There's a lot of paint in this cup. Oh, I'm a bit nervous. I'm going to spill it everywhere. Oh, there we go. That's okay. That's pretty. Not much purple come through though. That's all right. Got little pink cells popping up. Mm, very pretty. I'm going to turn this one around. Don't stick. And go from the other. Actually, uh, will I? Will I or won't I? No, you know, I won't. And I'll tell you why in a minute. After I flip this. Oh no, that wasn't a very good one. Let's pop some of this here. Try not to drag it, try and just to let it run out on its own. Oh, I like those colours. Um, yeah, you know when um, you do one that side and that one's close there and you've got a big gap there and then you flip the other one and you've got a, um, a big gap down there and it's close there, it makes it hard to tilt. I think for me, having the same amount there that you need to tilt and the same amount there that you need to tilt is, is just easier. Um, otherwise, the one goes fast, this one's still quite empty and then you lose that, this one hasn't got there yet. Do you know what I mean? So, um, does that make sense? Although it hasn't exactly worked the way I wanted it to. I've got a bit of a gap there. All right, I won't stretch that, I'll just tilt. Some of this is gonna to have to go because that's a bit messy, which means I have to tilt a long way from there to there. And this one, mind you, I can get rid of that, I guess. I did make up more paint than I normally would use. Initially, I was only going to have five colours. Let me just concentrate on this for a minute. I was going to have five colours, so I thought, well, I'll do 120 grams in each cup, which is 600 grams. And then I changed my mind and did six colours, so I still had 120 grams in each cup, so I've got more than 600 grams. that's looking see how the cells are really small at the moment that's generally a good sign because uh, we'll be able to stretch them and make them bigger if they're too big at this stage um, it can be a problem um, because they'll get overstretched so looking nice so far I'm just looking to see you know if there's any haziness which there isn't um, if, if I get hazy cells along the edges instead of nice defined rings, then I know my mix was a bit on the thick side. Oh, I just found some black. Oh, how exciting. I didn't think I had any black left. It's nearly as exciting as getting a voucher to work. <laughs> See how this black's flowing nicely. I won't use it all up. Just in case there's a little 
corner somewhere that I need to to cover so this is the area here that I, I don't like probably about two inches worth so that's going to go off first so let's spin her around so that I can get rid of that first okay side to side a lot of paint on the surface as I said I made up a lot don't really need all this okay so that's pretty much covered and I just want to take some of it away although maybe I should do up here first and then I can get rid of some of that. What do you think? Or is it best to do this first? Um, no, let's do that because I've got the weight of the paint down there already. Just want to take a little bit more off. <laughs> Look at me. You can't see me, but I'm rocking. My whole body's rocking as I'm doing this. I'm rocking. Oh, dear. All right. Turn that around. Psychedelic. I already know what I'm going to call this painting. Kaleidoscope. It looks like a kaleidoscope. Now all I need to do is try and stretch these cells out a bit more because they're a little on the small side and you know I haven't really had much room to stretch them. So that's why they're a little bit small. I need to get my hand underneath that middle bit there and stretch them out and go to that corner and that corner. Here we go, tilt, 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 tilt. That one's done, tilt and down. Okay. Now we're, I don't want to lose any more of that corner there, but I may not be able to stop it. Um, let's put that there while we go down, down and out. Off you go, off you go, over, over, over. Over, yes. All right, how's that looking? I need to turn that around and bring some of this down here, down that way. that little bit out and what else needs stretching this bit in here could do with a little bit of a, a stretching I think see how easy it is to move the things around when you put your hand under the card you can choose where you want things to go. It's a lot easier than a canvas. For those of you that want a big painting, your own big painting, and maybe you're not confident in doing a big canvas, you can always do something like this on a card 
and then take a really good photo of it, not on your phone, but on a professional camera. And then you upload it to one of these um, printing sites. There's a lot of them around. And they print you out some really amazing um, canvases of your painting. Um, I'll actually I'll actually show you one in a sec. Just want to have a little look at that, see if there's anything else that I want to do. I don't think there's anything else I can really do to this. I just have to try and touch that up where I stuck my finger in it. So what do you think of that? <laughs> I quite like it actually. As I said, psychedelic. Um, probably needs some more black. I really like this area here where those pink cells pop in the black. I've got my stripies through there. A little bit of a stripey through there. It's it's pretty. It really is quite pretty. All right, I'm going to show you this canvas. Um, this this canvas, um, as I said, uh, it was only a little one like this size, and uh, I sent away to a company. I'm not going to be able to show you the whole thing because it's it's big. That's it there. Can't really see the whole thing, can you? Try and fit it in. So yeah, um, huge cells, hey? <laughs> Everything's enlarged but um, yeah you can you can send your small print away your small paw away and get um, a really nice big canvas that's a canvas on a frame and uh, yeah you can have that done just make sure that you do get a really good photo of it though it has to be with a really good camera and it's it's one way to have your art on a really big scale if you're not quite confident at doing a huge canvas just yet and you know it's expensive to do these big ones and then if you're not happy with it you've maybe wasted a lot of money and a big canvas and you could have just sent away and got one of these big canvases made of your favorite paw so just a little option for you I guess something to think about Um, I can also send you, if you guys like any any of my paws in particular, I can have them printed out onto a canvas like that and sent to you anywhere in the world. And uh, they're quite a, a reasonable price. So, you know, I can get them shipped for about $9 or something, so... It works out to be quite a reasonable price for a painting. So there you go. What do you think of that? Um, yeah, <laughs> again, wasn't expecting that. Um, I think maybe my mix was a little, little bit on the thin side. Um, I haven't been able to stretch it as well as I would have liked. So definitely, definitely going to try these colours again. Add more black and um yeah go again hope you enjoyed that i will see you for the next pour bye for now